material here and I want to make a three yard material uh, quilt out of it so see what we can do about getting some material out here so I'm going to have to probably do it like this all of them I want to do it kind of together if I can. And I'm going to see if I can't cut all of it together. And put all the salvage at one side. And all the rest of it at the other. Ha <laughs> ha. See if we can't do that. That would be, this is eight pieces here. Let's go it down. We'll know if we can do it or not. Once we get all this right here together and turned in half. See what we can do here. I need to come down a little bit more on this one. Make sure all of them are together. And I'm hoping okay, this right here is not level. Maybe we need to get one side level and we're not going to worry about the other side. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Now we're going to wait. Yeah, it's it, it's not going to be level. No, it's not. Alright. Let's see, I'm going to want my bigger one. This one. And, let's see, I need to do it this side first. <coughs> I'm hoping it'll work. No, we don't want to crick eyed. We want you straight. There we go. We can handle that. Or is that going to be big? Nope. That's not going to be big enough. Let's see if we can't work. There we go. And we're going to cut this one down. And we'll go down it again to make sure. Ta da! Yes. See here at the bottom one? That one. And then this. Th these two, we'll put them over here. I think it, she'll like it better. Okay, so let's get this one. No, let's keep it out. We are going to cut right up against it. Yes, I'm better off this way. Try to line my ruler up. Make sure everything is in golf there. Ta-da! Alright. Now, I'm hoping this quilt ain't going to be gigantic. But I think a three-yard quilt is pretty, pretty good. It'll be a pretty big and yep, 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 yep. Sure, we get level there and level here. Yeah. There we 
go. Let's pull this one up. We'll see how many more we can get. We're going to get one more pile. But I think I'm going to call it clips here. And we can use this right here for border or whatever else that we need. Alright. We are going to work on these. So now I want to take each one of them. And we are going to lay them out. And so we can't cut through them. Make sure that they are all leveled up tall. Let's see how many I can get. All right, I think that's going to be good enough. I, I'm, I'm going to want to uh, make sure I can do this pretty good. Okay, now so we can't. So I can cut them easier. I don't know why you moved. Hey, we're doing good. Still yet on this end. I'm not going to count these. That over yonder. And now, let's get, see if we can't get some more cut. Pretty sure that I cut the rest of them because that was about half right there. And I do believe that we can do it like this. Line them all up. Alright, let's do this one right here again. Well, let's try to get level. Oh, that's going to be good enough. By the time we get done and everything, it's most and definitely going to be different. That's for sure. Heard somebody talking and Jonathan left his TV on. <laughs> that was a good surprise. I'm so glad that I was able to go get um, a cutter for a uh, blade for this because. It had went crazy. I, I am completely done with this. Now what we need to do is we need to separate these colors. Alright, let's take them to the bedroom. And let's see what we're going to do with these blocks. It has been a warm day today and we didn't we don't need our uh electricity on today so that's good. Alright I'm gonna say I'm probably not gonna use all these blocks now that I'm seeing how many they are but we're gonna go 
and we're going to start putting us a quilt down. And yes, I want it like that. I may want to change things, but we're going to go with this first. <clears throat> and see if I can't get this right because this ain't right okay I think I got it laid out the way I want it but I want to take these two rolls and put them on this side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these three and I'm probably not going to have enough to do this I'll probably have to cut me out some more of these blocks these are the ones I have left over but I'm pretty sure that I might. No, uh -uh. no, 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 no. I'm trying. There we go. And yeah, I'm out of these, and I need these. There we go with that one. So I only need one of these blocks. Boy, do I wish I had one somewhere. Ugh. <laughs> Just one. One. All right, let's go see if we can't. Let's see what it looks like in the camera. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that looks like a, a, a chain looking and all. Okay, let's go cut us out some more blocks. Okay. I didn't cut any more of these out because I've already got plenty of them here. So let's see what we can do about. Uh, oh, I need that color. Lord have mercy. I didn't really need these. Oh, well, since we got them, we might as well go ahead and use them. All right. We have this one, and it's going to take three down. We're going to put two down, and let's see, we're going to have to have one of these, and then one of these, see what we can do. One of these here. One of these here, one of these, one of them, and one of these, and I don't have any more. We're just going to have to go ahead and put that one down. But that's kind of like that one up there. And I think that's the way that's going to go. I guess I need to look at my picture again and make sure that I have it right. So we'll be back. Okay, the moral of this story is what you want to do is make sure that you have one block up there, whatever you're going to have, you like, you know, whatever color you're going to have. The One of the main colors, if you look, the dark pink is the main color and then this one is the second one and this is your background so you want three here the first row one then one of your lighter colors three dark one light and you want to make sure that your middle ones these two rows right here do not have any of the dark color you only want the the light colors, your background, and your medium color. 
and then you want three and then three and if you notice this down here it's more that's the way it's looking on the quilt on the picture so really it would be only three right in here be three you got one three three but i only got two that's good enough for me on these lighter ones they go this way when your darker ones go this way so on your lighter or your medium color you want uh to go this way with it you want two and two three two and two and three and i i hope you can understand what i'm saying but now i don't want to mess none of this up so what I think I want to do is take it row by row and do two at a time as I go down. So I'm going to get all them rows two and then I'm going to bring them back and I'm going to put them back in here and then I'm going to come up with the next one and I'm going to sew it to it until I get all of them done. And I hope it works out. I think that's going to look really good. All right. We'll be back. God sent His Son. They call Him Jesus. He came to love. He'll let forgive. He lived and died. Do I? Alrighty, I got done with it. I could not put this all the way around it. I didn't have enough of it. So I put this, the, the blocks that I had in here. I cut them down and I put a three inch border on it. So I think it turned out pretty good. I think we can handle it. But unfortunately, I can't put any batting or anything with it. Because I don't have any. So anyway. And besides. I was going to iron it. But Mama Cat said. You're not moving me. And I said well okay. So now we have this right here. I think it turned out really good. I think it turned out. If I made this block smaller. I probably could have got more. Lattice looking into it. But. Seeing how I use that, I ain't scared a bit. Alright, I hope y'all enjoyed it. We'll have to put it together later. Bye. Are you comfortable? You look comfortable. Yeah, you do. You look comfortable. <laughs> Lay on her back. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that looks funny. I got some material to make a rug with and I'm trying to cut it out unfortunately I messed up so I had to cut them down I cut them down to two inch strips and then when I went to put the rug together it did not work out so I had to go back and cut them all down to one inch strips which they did turn out a whole lot better than what it did now I do have a video and I don't know if I'm gonna put it up or not but it did not turn out right none of it did so 
I said, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to keep it. I'm going to start over. So now here, I'm just going to start all over again and make some uh, strips and try to put a rug together. And I hope it turns out better. So far, it looks pretty good. But we're going to keep on a going and we're going to see what happens to this rug. I hope it turns out. I went and got material and I've already done cut out these three types and I started me a rug and here is this color then here is this color then here is this color and this is the fabric store that I went to and I started off by each one of these and I went four strips down this way and I called it quits at one of the strips and I got tips at both end where they've been joined together and this is how long I'm gonna make it or how wide I'm gonna make it how long I'm gonna make it I don't know but this is half of what I've already done got cut so I'm gonna have to cut more material which I have right here and I think I'm going to say these oh I think I'm how am I going to do this these four I think I'm going to try to make a quilt out of it but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use these three and cut them down to an inch wide. So I'll have three more colors in there and hopefully it'll be enough to make a pretty decent uh, rug out of it. Alright, so I will show you, uh, I'm just regular cro crocheting it. So hopefully it'll turn out really good. Alright, so I'm going to quit this one right here, and then I'll show you what how I'm crocheting it. Okay, this basket here is a repeat of these, and these, and this. And I hope you can see it. So it's just a repeat this one is what's going to be in the middle I think but if not and uh then it'll be another color but uh, I want one great big long color in the middle and then on this side I want different colors and on this side I want the same different colors but in reverse so, when I've got it like this, this one right here is going to be the, the first one, the second one, the third one, and so forth. And, I'll, and then whenever I get the end of it, it will be the opposite, like that. So, I'm hoping that it turns out. Alright, so, what I'm doing is... My nose is running. I'll see what I can do here. I'm taking all four of them and I'm cutting them down. And then I'm putting them into the hole like this <coughs> and just sliding it down through it. Alright, I'll finish these up later. Let me go ahead and get this one since I already got the hole in it. And that way I ain't got to worry about cutting double holes. <laughs> we don't want to do that. But, there we go. This gives me something to do while I'm watching Ubi Tubi. Sitting here doing nothing. 
Alright, so now put these back down here underneath all the other stuff. <laughs> trying to get comfortable here okay so now I am just doing this is a size H as this is the only needle I've got right now at this point all the rest of them are packed up and I wish I could get to them but however I can't and I'm just doing regular crochet it's single crochet I think these right here make the better rug. Single crochet does. So. And anyway. But this is the way that I am doing it. And I use four of my strips. And all these strips, they come out different. So. I described, you know put them all together and then I said I'm gonna do three and I didn't like three it was too small so I went with four and I do like these rugs because they do last a long time I, I've got a lot of rugs that I've made and I think they've done pretty good these they are harder to make than really to me it's going to quilt because some of them you come across and they are uh so what am I doing here okay, I want to go right here some of them want to give you a fit <laughs> but yeah some quilts do too crochet down here at the end and now we're going to turn it and we're not going to go through the first one we're going to go through the second one and start all over again I had a video the showing you I was cutting the half inch and I went to my um, uh, uh, cloud so if I couldn't get it back it's like it won't let me and I'm like, I don't understand why. Well, I'll tell you why. Because I never did delete it off my iPad. And that way, it ain't going to let you have it. <laughs> Somehow, I added one right in here. Because of the way that it's going off. I just don't, don't want to add any. And I don't, I don't know why I did that, but I did. But I ain't going to take it apart for that one stitch. But I sure can tell that that one stitch did make it bring it over than what I wanted it. Okay, I guess I'm going to quit right here. And I'm going to watch me some Ubi Tubi. And try to work on this quilt. Um, one more thing. If you take this and bring it up. It makes it a whole lot better quilt, a uh, rug, than it is to go like that in a small, you've got to pull harder and all. So if you bring it up, it makes it a whole lot more better to make your stitches. And I'm going to watch me some newbie to be. Okay, I hope you can see me. I've done put my blue in here, and now I'm going on with the rest of it down. I was going to put more colors with it, but I wanted to make a quilt. The quilt you just saw. So, and I do have a different color in there I could put in here, but I decided not to do it and use that material for something else. But I figured I'd go ahead and finish this right here rug. And, all, and I can always start another one. 
I know I'd like to make a, well, I don't know, make another big gigantic rug like that one over here. Nah. I think these little rugs are the best bet because I can always put them in, right in front of my shower and have, uh, you know, a, a rug there. But I got a cat. My mom taught my cat to come in and use the bathroom. She poops in my shower and she pees on my rug. So I've got rugs out on the porch where she peed, and I don't know how to stop her. I, if I caught her doing it, then I could, you know, scold her on it. I wouldn't hurt her, you know. I'd just tell her that she's a bad cat and put her in the bathtub so she could pee in the bathtub. But. I noticed with this last one, I haven't had one, and I'm like, oh, God, what am I going to do? I said, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this one and put it down. And she'll probably end up peeing on it, too. Maybe if I let her lay in there on it before I uh, put it in there and let her sleep on it, maybe she might not do it. That could be... But I like to catch her doing it. But I haven't. And I do not like her peeing on my rugs. But all I'm doing is just keeping on going. I've got them all tied together. I tied every one together and put them on this right here. And then when I went to go put it on, I was like, oh man, I did a boo boo. I shouldn't have done that. Because then I had to take every bit of it and unroll it and slide it through the uh, opening here without tearing it up. I managed to do it, though. I did not tear it up. And it worked out just fine. But these right here little rugs, I like these. They're just perfect. And I'm going to tell you, don't... Take them to a laundromat to wash them. Don't wash them in your personal uh, washing machine. My, I, they have tore up. And I'm like, I ain't going to use it no more. I will take all these to a laundromat where I can put them in their washing machine and wash them there. And uh, I've got some more in my shed. And uh, there's, there's rugs I would love to have a better looking house to put, you know, to put them in. But seeing house, now I'm skipping that one and I'm getting this one. And, you know, put them in and make them, you know, let them be a whole lot better in a better looking house but you know we are what we are and we ain't what we ain't <clears throat> and we you know I, I'm very uh, content where I'm at no I'm not too content in the Lord that reminds me I need to put up a video somebody asked me to put up a video so, I probably what I ought to do is quit this, put up a video, and then come back and finish this and show you what this rug looks like whenever I get it done. If I can shut my mouth enough. <laughs> okay. So, now, I'm going to quit this for now. And I'm going to work on this rug tonight. And I'm going to get it done. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like when it gets done. But I'm going to work on the Bible. Well, it's a little bit skinnier than what I really wanted. But it will work. It don't look really bad either. I think it gives it just enough, you know, to get your feet dried. <laughs> But it looks pretty good. Alright, we'll see you next time. If you would like to donate to Poor Man's Sewing, 
come down here to poor man sewing then come up here and look for about and right here you can donate to the channel and every donation is really appreciated we thank you very much and i hope you have a blessed day